Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Tonight News. I'm Joe Glorick, and this is going to be the next hockey video on Nick Suzuki re-signing with the Montreal Canadiens, agreeing to an extension that kicks in after this year. The kid definitely deserves it. This is one of those, let's get out in front of his prime year's contract, so we pay him a little bit less money rather than waiting till he's at that season where he's towards the end of his arbitration. And, um... You're going to have to pay him a hell of a lot more money, say, in like three years at age 25 or even in two years at age 24 with the way he is pro ah, progressing. He's obviously a very smart, witty offensive center. He plays very consistent. He's a great skater, plays a very good 200-foot game. Um, he's going to be the highest paid skater on the Canadians. The he's going to be the highest paid skater on the Canadians. Once his contract kicks in next year, the only guy that is going to be paid more on the Montreal Canadiens is, of course, goaltender Carey Price, who, again, I applaud for going into player assistance program and I'm praying for him and wishing him well. The 22-year-old, of course, posted 41 points in 55 games, or 56 games, pardon me, last season, but which I think is a vast improvement, which shows his great improvement each year. He killed the playoffs, 16 points in 22 games, a pivotal part, one of the biggest parts of that surprise run, which was obviously fueled by the aforementioned beast of a man in net carry price. And then he had seven points in 10 games the year before in the playoffs and played really well and produced 41 points in 71 games. So even though he had 41 points in both of his first two seasons, He's damn well improved in that second season because that's only in 56 games. Even if he just played the 71 he played the season before and not the full 82, he would have killed that 41 points. And especially in 82, he would have kicked its butt and did great. So I think this is a very smart thing done by the Montreal Canadiens. They got a player that looks like they're an emerging star because, by the way, Nick Suzuki posted very, very good defensive numbers last year as well and showed mostly that he can play great 200-foot game and can play consistency, not just offensively being quick-witted on offense, but also being quick-witted on defense, and is a great skater that's going to be able to get back on a lot of opposing rushes while also playing good on getting back on the opposing rushes and not just being one of those fast, like, I don't know, I'm trying to think of, like Harry Zornerchuk type players or um, Scotty Upshaw guys that put in a lot of effort but don't have the same defensive prowess as they're getting back. He has that defensive prowess and has the speed while getting back. So I think he's going to be a great player for years to come. He's still only 22 years old. So hell, at the end of this eight-year contract, the man's only going to be 30 and still be in a very good peak of his career as he's developing. So you're going to have him for the great prime of his career. He's not even in his prime, and he's already, as far as I'm concerned, showing himself to definitely be one of the top 15 centers, if not higher, in the league this far with how he vastly improved last year, and most importantly, how he dominated and kicked their behinds, no matter who he was playing in the postseason, posting seven goals, nine assists, and those aforementioned 16 points in 22 games. So again, kudos Kudos claps up to the Montreal Canadian for getting this done. He, of course, was acquired by or from the Vegas Golden Knights. He was the 13th pick in 2017. And then he was shipped to Montreal for Tomas Tatar and Max Pacioretty in 2018. A great pickup by the Canadians. Then lost a guy you love in Pacioretty. You got a new lover in Nick Suzuki, a guy that honestly probably has a great chance. Now locked up for this eight years. He's a very good leader, a very good guy in the locker room. Obviously kicked behind with the Owen Sound attack and was a great leader in that locker room as their assistant and their captain. I would not be... It would not be hard-pressed. I would not be surprised if Nick Suzuki is your captain somewhere in the future in this eight-year contract. That would be very expected, honestly, to be quite honest. And that makes this even a hell of a more better contract because he's your captain and he's getting paid to produce probably eventually at a certain point for seven, eight, seven, five million, at least 65, if not 75 or more points per season with the pace he keeps progressing at at only 22 years old. So imagine what the heck he's going to do at 24, at 25, and even next year, as he's probably going to at least get into the high 50 points 
I would say, in a 482 game season, if not at that aforementioned 65. So I think this is a very smart move by the Canadian. This guy is progressing very well. He's a very young player that looks like he's already a nice top 15, at least, center in the league. And that's great to say about someone at 22 years old, especially someone that plays so good and isn't afraid of anything really at his size. His speed is so good. Again, his defensive game is so good. There's nothing bad to say about Nick Suzuki. Smart move by the Canadian. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. This has been the Nick Suzuki re-signs with the Canadians. An eight-year contract extension that kicks in next season to make him their highest paid skater. Obviously, Price is their highest paid overall player. I hope you again enjoy this. Subscribe down below or on the widget up above if you enjoy the content. Enjoy the season, everybody. The hockey season is upon us. Woo! Let's go, everybody. Peace out.